I will start with a litany of gratitude that cannot exhaust itself. I am indebted to the makers of this issue, to the queer feminisms workshop in Beirut that leaned into a revolution, and to Sarah who gave us language to think and feel in as we came up against walls. I will say nothing new today. It is knowledge I was gifted with by the minds, visions, arms, and backs of those who have shaped Kohar by our communities that make dreaming possible despite or because of how hard community is, by our transnational movements are decolonial in their queerness, by those we have fought and raged alongside of whether they know or sense it. I left Beirut on August 24, 2020 three days before my 31st birthday and 20 days after the explosion of August 4. In Beirut, in my region of the world, across the South, we have lived cycles of industrial disasters, car bombs, missiles, police violence, state repression, economic collapse. We have learned destruction intimately. Our bodies know destruction intimately. Yet, it was because of August 4 that I was authorized to cross the European border. The borders had been closed for months due to the pandemic, but this politics of exceptionalism meant that at that moment, some of us became worthy of crossing as narratives of misery, narratives that were mainstreamed and broadcasted in, in images that I will not reproduce. Kohan's backbone threads with memory and resistance. We refuse to entertain narratives of misery. Instead, we turn to our queer feminist archive. Hence my question today. When do we become worthy of theory? Not as subjects to be theorized upon, the raw data Maya Mekdashi and Jasper Poir talk about, but as living archives and those who inspire and conspire with as I was writing this, I anticipated my hands would be shaking. Queer theory is about finding what makes you shake, what can make worlds shake. I am shaking because it is personal and the personal is theoretical, as Sara Ahmed would say. With Kohal, we wrote queer feminisms every time a collective we breathed life into an issue. In a way, we were haunted by this issue before it turned into language. Publishing queer feminisms away from Beirut felt like grief, but we conjure the spaces and geographies that shape our political imaginaries every time I becomes we becomes theory. Our theories are queer because we carry them on our backs like a home, because we let them course through our veins and mark our flesh. Our queer is transnational rather than universal. It is Southern, not as a geographical location we can point to on a map, but as the maps of our memory turned resistant. We are separated by nation state borders. We are further isolated under lockdowns and curfews and halted mobilities. It makes me think of how theory travels, of how we think it travels. We have theorized abundantly with our situated seeings and the knowledges we carry on our backs and inside our flesh. But we say theory travels because the theories that we know and produce have historically been met with silences and walls. Theories are our practice, but theory in singular as meta narrative is that which has the power to write us out even as we exist under its scope. Academia is one location. There are also institutions, our nation states, the media, and the policies that get translated into border controls, global aid, state violence, social norms. Theory becomes a point of origin that is never ours to claim. Regulated by publication standards, we are not equipped to navigate by languages and codes our tongues can speak but not master, by paywalls and degrees and bureaucratic processes and emotional labor that wear us down. So 
So we write ourselves back into our narratives, even as they are written by others. We tone down and edit out and conform in form and forms and structure. I and we forget that we were not civilized by global systems of power, by our nation states, by institutions. We were disciplined. I and we forget that these systems, global and national, were put in place as projects of extraction. And so, as a queer phenomenology of theory, when we turn towards a point of origin, we have to look to our backs to point to histories of extraction. But when we came together through the Queer Feminisms Workshop in Beirut, we did not speak back to, we spoke with each other and we allowed ourselves to shake. This is how we have always theorized. I have told this story many times. Rahel has been doing this work for seven years. When queer feminisms came out last December, I felt frustrated it did not seem to stick. It is a question of reach. When we announced this launch, we were overwhelmed with online reach that was too widespread for us to contain, so we let it spill. And I anxiously asked myself, by reaching out to Sara, was I and were we reproducing a hierarchy of theories? Are the political economies of circulation really outside of our reach? But perhaps that is not the story. That is not the reach we need to talk about. To know intimately with our bodies, we get messy with the systems that regulate our lives, our mobility, our togetherness. Perhaps queer feminisms, the issue, is the center of this narrative because we have woven willfully enough to reach each other across the borders and positions we were assigned. We need not seize the means of production because we have always produced and theorized. I would like to turn our imaginaries to seizing the means of circulation. When we create our tracks of circulation, our queer archives reach across to each other. It is their mess and multiplicity that can make worlds shake. Thank you.